the following contest is a first blood match. Making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 1,167 pounds, Hacksaw Cannon, Tully Blanchard, and Kane. It doesn't get much better than this guy. Six-man tag team action coming up next. Actually, Cole, it can get better than this. Let me just find where they plugged in Saxon's mic. Give me a minute. I'll take care of it. Byron, as we get ready to kick this one off, tell me, who do you like here tonight? There are so many different variables in this match, Michael, that it makes it nearly impossible to pick a winner. Even if I did make a pick, I wouldn't be doing so with any confidence. Six-man tag oh, team man. matches are always chaotic. Buckle up and get ready, because this one is underway. Looking at the six competitors we have in the ring tonight, oh. I think it's safe to say that we're entering dream match territory right now. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. Incredible drop. Drop. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grahams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Ooh, what impact! Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. We're talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents. What a slam! Tick. He's starting to stagger a bit. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match.
There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Beautiful technique. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game-changer right there, Michael. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. If you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Not today. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, 
Jeff Brush. What an amazing six-man tag match. When this guy's on, look out. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Check this out. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here are your winners. Hacksaw Cannon, Tully Blanchard, and Kane. Kane leads the way en route to victory here tonight. You can bet there's going to be a celebration tonight.